My younger son, four years ago, was diagnosed with ALS. And that's one of the reasons I'm here, to find out what I can about it from you, to know how to minister, because um, he's at the point now where um, he's in 24-hour care and um, uh, has a trach that saved his life for them to have a trach and put a feeding tube in. And so that's kept him alive. And um, that's where I'm at right now. And would we'll ask for some suggestions, please. Well, it's a mom. It's hard. ALS is a self-accusation disorder. It comes out of a person's conflict with themselves. Whether or not they're doing it right or have done it right. It's a self-accusation disorder in which the body begins to attack itself because the person's attacking themselves. They can be very nice people, but they're not easy on themselves. Is that possible? You know your son better than anybody else. Is he driven? Well, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a dichotomy of our existence. Now, I'm not sure it applies to your son, but I want to challenge you. There is a danger in truth because it causes you to go black or white in your thinking. It's a dangerous place to let truth cause you to become legalistic. There's not one person here that's black or white in the scan of right or wrong. Every one of you are, are all gray, different shades of gray, some a little darker, some a little lighter. I'm talking about spiritual thinking. But sometimes when people embrace truth, it accuses them, puts a, it's a spirit of religion comes actually, puts them in a straitjacket of performance. And then sometimes they feel like they feel God if it doesn't follow their efforts. So I'm not sure this is all about that, but ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, is a, is a, where the body begins to attack the body neurologically. Because a person's attacking themselves and their identity. I, I'm dealing with an ALS case right now, and it's a sad situation. And uh, I won't get into details, but... Um, there is a scripture that talks about hope deferred makes the heart sick. And we use that for Parkinson's disease, but it also applies to some other disorders. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when desire comes, it's a tree of life. So we, we have this, this, you know, all of you are just either happy or unhappy wanderers. Life, people ask me all the time, Pastor, how you doing? Well, I'm doing it in a straight <laughs> way, wall to wall, but I'm headed in the right direction eventually. If you don't make an allowance for this kind of journey, you're easy pickings to the devil in performance and self-accusation. Though the righteous fall seven times, the Lord with his hand shall lift them up. Listen, stop being so hard on yourself. You're goofy just a bit. Are we done? Yeah. Well, he told his sister that he was showing us how to suffer for the Lord. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That, that is a religious spirit. Amen. So we have, we have nailed this one. I know your son very well. He's caught in black and white thinking. So we have discussed this properly. Get him out of black and white thinking. It's a killer for him. It's still for anybody. For anybody. Now, isn't it amazing how we've come through this, and then we hear this, and then you've heard this? This is how we learn, isn't it? You can prevent these disorders if you'll get out of black and white thinking. 